Hey guys, thank you so much for being here today. I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to do a simple, very simple and very effective reconciliation spell to get your lover back. Even if it's just the sparks that have went missing, this will help retain that love that you guys had when you first met. I will put a disclaimer, in my personal custom works, I rarely do work like this, meaning that when I do reconciliations, it's usually conjure reconciliations. This is a hoodoo reconciliation, so it's a little bit different. So I'm going to show you what I have going on right now. And <laughs> a big reason why I'm showing you this is because I've, I'm coming out with my own conjure oils. So this is what they look like. This is a small size. Not 100% sure if I'm going to go back to the big size. I was selling big sizes of this. However, um, I could show you I have one here. This is one for my own personal use. I got really hurt using the top of this and I don't want anybody to get hurt which is why I've resorted to these and plus these are so cute like I think these are cuter than the other ones if you are a beginner welcome please do your research on this before you get started please cleanse yourself please um, do a hex remover and also make sure you do a blockbuster before you get into any type of major work such as a reconciliation spell you also have to make sure that the person you are tar you know the person that you are targeting does not have the type of spiritual protection that may have the spell backfire at you. So by doing that, you can get a psychic reading, you can do like even some type of energy work if you are a Reiki healer and you want to tap into their energy just to make sure you're okay with doing this work and it's going to be effective. Do something to just ensure your safety and the safety of the spell. Without any further ado, I'm going to get into it. <clears throat> So a lot of people like sage. I like sage. Um, it, ever since I lost my smell, and my smell actually has come back now. It's almost been a full year, and I'm, it's pretty safe to say that I have my smell back. But I'm eating a lot of organic things because when I lost my smell, I lost my taste too. And I could taste like every pesticide and McDonald's, all that stuff. So I've been eating like a lot healthier. So... These are bay leaves. You can burn bay leaves. These actually um, don't, I don't think they smell as bad as sage. And this is a very protective herb. So you could burn them straight like this, you know, get the smoke, smoke, you know, what it is. Let me get this camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh my gosh. Hold on friends. This is camera. Okay. I know I have stuff all over me. Don't mind that. <laughs> wow, this is really bad. I'm sorry, guys. But this is what it's like when you're a root worker. You get dirty very easily. Um, prepare yourself to get dirty. Very dirty. Because this stuff, especially glitter, gets everywhere. I'm really hoping that that's going to hold. Hold on, guys. Let me just try and... Okay, now focus. Okay. Alright, so what you're going to want to do... This is a reconciliation spell. The target's fiancé is on this side. My target is on this side. We are going to retain the spark in this relationship. And first, you can see, I already kind of dressed this with some of the herbs. However, I didn't add the reconciliation oil onto it yet. So what I do, just to protect your work, is I put bay leaves all over. I surround this with bay leaves. Some people use salt, some people use black salt, some people use other herbs. I am a Leo, uh, bay, bay leaf is in the sign of fire. I usually tend to work with fire elements uh, signs, so, um, I like, I like the planet Mars a lot, like I use herbs that coincide with the planet Mars. Okay, you just want a circle of these bay leaves, I'm anal, so that's why I put it like this. Okay guys, I'm just trying to get a little bit more. So, you know, this is kind of closed off, nothing can get in here. Okay. You can't see it, but like I said, their names are already written down. 
that's a notebook there. I, you will notice that I just throw my shit everywhere. So now I'm gonna go get my gloves because I am not getting dirty. you're gonna see something really embarrassing <laughs> but I don't like the sticky part hold on guys I don't like the sticky part of gloves so I always blow these out so my hand never touches like the sticky part again I'm I'm just weird like <laughs> I just I don't know why I just I can't stand the sticky part of gloves and these gloves are small as heck too so, since we want to bring this person back, this is the oil dropper, by the way. Hi. I put a little bit of honey in here. This is some reconciliation oil with a little bit of honey to make everybody sweet. So. While I'm doing this, I'm thinking my intention into the, the figure eight candle. Notice how I'm twisting it clockwise as well. So this is charging the candle with my intention. He is coming back. He knows where he loves. He knows where his heart is. Saying things like that. I keep my chants very short because I chant for three to four minutes usually. And I want to remember my chant without like having any hiccups while saying it over and over again. Okay. So now we have, what was that? Okay. Now we have our figure candle. This is protected. Bay leaf is a very good agent in protecting a spell from the psychic eye. I have so many people that come to me and they have had work done. And I could see where the person who did the work lives. I can see them eating dinner with their family. I could see a lot. I could see more than I should be able to see. Why? Because they're lazy and they're not covering up what they're doing. Let's continue. Oh boy, don't tell me I have to open this. Yep, just tape on it. I like glitter. Glitter is not only just something to maybe pretty and this is why I get dirty. Like I said, glitter is not just there to be pretty. Glitter also can help your spell be unseen by the psychic vision. It can reflect it back to, it can reflect back to the person that is trying to look at what you're doing. So in that case, I really like glitter. It's also very important to find a glitter that is not gonna like, cause I've, okay guys, I actually did a sweetener spell on somebody and I used sprinkles. And the sprinkles went, they made such a big fire, it was insane. Like, the fire alarms went off. I hate when the fire alarms go off. It's like, I, I try to avoid the fire alarms going off so much. And I know we're making a mess, but I, usually I'd be on tinfoil doing this. But for the sake of the video, let's just do it all on a plate. If you're doing this and you don't want to make a mess, please do this on tinfoil first. And that's not even, we're not even done yet. Carrier oils are strong enough to bring back your person. You don't necessarily need herbs because my carrier oils have been in, been infused with real herbs. They do just fine by themselves. Trust me, I've done many water spells and I don't use herbs in them. I just use the oil and the glitter and that's pretty much it. I sometimes even write my intention on the bay leaf. If you have like a powder, that would be amazing. But then again, like, it's kind of good when these burn. I'm the sloppiest person in the world. Look how slight sloppy this thing is. This is like a mess. This isn't, these aren't even my herbs that I use for my candles. Like I have, I 
guys, I have big herbs. <laughs> Again, as I am doing this, I'm thinking my intention. Like I said, be prepared to get dirty. It, that just comes with the territory. You don't want to use flower petals? Then don't use flower petals. You don't need to use flower power petals with my um, oils. My oils are... <clears throat> I'm not going to say that I use the same spirits and as much spiritual energy in my oils as they do the candles, because that's not true. My oils are very powerful because those are conjured over. However, my oils are infused with a lot of spiritual power. Okay. All right, guys. We haven't made the biggest mess in the world right now. So pretty though, right? Guys, always remember to say thank you to the herbs. I have loved ones of mine. My gentleman friend, who I'm just starting to teach him how to do this stuff because I didn't like the way his boss was talking to him. And he forgot to say thank you. And for me, I think of these spirits as my friends. They give me a lot of things, you know. <clears throat> they have gotten me out of a really bad financial situation in the past year to a financial situation I didn't even really believe was I could possibly even be in at this point. So always say thank you. This is a really pretty dandy spell. Like, can you guys feel the energy in this spell right from here looking at it? I have a lot of um, intuitives on this channel. That's why I ask. So... Before we light this bad boy up, let me just make sure I'm remembering everything because I don't want to give anybody bad information or I don't want to steer anybody in a way that's not what I would consider foolproof because I know I have a lot of newbies on here. Make sure you are cleansing your space. Cleanse. Hex remover. Blockbuster. Don't touch this until you do those things. I'm serious. This may, you know... Hoodoo spells backfire a lot more often than the spells that I do on my clients. So that's why I'm saying it's very, very essential for you to do what I'm saying. This is pink tourmaline. This is a very good uh, crystal for bringing in love. So I'm going to put this right here. Okay? This is your spell. You have his name here. You have her name here. I, I have this spell for men as well. So two men, and we put their names together, and it's, uh, it's a unisex spell. This is Venus Conjure Reconciliation Oil. This will be on sale soon. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I, heard, I hope you learned something. Make sure you put this on a clean altar, and do not leave this unattended, because this will go off in flames if it catches fire around, you know, the bay leaves, they'll catch fire. So just make sure you do not leave this unattended. And do not blow out the flame. You snuff the flame. For a ritual like this, I would let the flame go all the way through. What an amazing day, guys.